Hey, what's up, John? This is Devin from SEO Dallas, Texas. In this quick video, I'm going to show you three easy ways you can beat your competition online starting today. John, you're probably asking why I'm making you this video. It's simple. I found out a little while ago there's a lot of small business owners out there that are spending all their time running their business, taking care of their customers. They don't really have the time to learn how to make the internet work for them and bring in more of those customers. Typically, the only thing holding them back from hiring a marketing agency is they don't know who is an expert and who is not an expert. And so I found that by just making these attack plans and just giving them away for free, a lot of these business owners end up raising their hands saying, you know what, Devin, I like you. Just take care of this for me. So at the end of this all, you see I've got some tricks up my sleeve. Give me a call, John, and we can chat. If you want to do this yourself, that's totally okay, too. This is just free education. There's no strings attached. Now, John, the three things I'm going to go over with you today are going to be content, backlinks, and citations. So content is everything on the front page of your website that Google can crawl through to determine what keywords to rank you for and where to rank you for those keywords. So you want your content stuffed with keywords that people are searching for when they're looking for your business, like flooring in Austin, hardwood flooring in Austin, laminate flooring in Austin, stuff like that. Um, this includes all the text that you can read, all the text behind your images and whatever images are saved as. And Google considers authoritative websites these days as having 1,500 to 2,000 words on that front page. So if you look at this website, it is a beautiful website you got here, John. That floor looks amazing. You've got pictures on here. Shows almost like a vacation feel. It gives you that nice feeling when you look at these pictures like, man, I'm going to feel that great in this home. Reviews, trustworthy. This is an awesome looking website. In Google's eyes, they're going to want you to have more content on here. It looks like you probably have in total about 300 words, maybe 400. I would definitely recommend getting that up to about 1,500 to 2,000 to be considered an authority. If you look at FloorKing.net, these guys are number two. They don't have that much text, and I'll show you why they're still winning, but you'll destroy them in content, content here. Flooring Warehouse, awesome. These guys are number one, and these guys actually are winning because of their content. They have more, okay? But if they don't have 1,500 to 2,000, you're going to definitely beat them by getting to that point. Now, 15, uh, the content is king, but it's not the end-all, fix-all. The missing piece of the puzzle is called backlinks. These are important because Google's like a popularity contest, and so look at how many other websites on the internet are linking from their website to your website. And not all backlinks are created equal. You get a lot more power from other flooring companies linking to you than you would from like Pizza Hut linking to you. You're obviously not a pizza company. So I use a tool to check this out. It's called Ahrefs. It costs about a thousand bucks a month depending on the plan you use, but it gives you some really valuable data on what's going on in the back end of websites. And so here's your website, bellasflooring.com. It says you have 40 websites pointing at you at the moment. Not a bad start. It shows that you've been doing some SEO work. Uh, your main competitor is Floor King. They have 234 websites. That's why they're number two. And the number one guys only have 147. This is a testament on why content is more important than backlinks because they have almost 100 less, yet they're still outranking them. So the best, my best suggestion for you is to make sure you obviously get that content up, but you're going to want to get at least another 100 to 150 websites pointing at you to beat Flooring Warehouse Austin. And the best way to do it is to go take whatever links they have and apply them to your own website. So you go look. They have floor biz will be a good one for you. Retail flooring stores will be a good one. Des uh, I don't know about design biz, maybe. Laminate flooring will be good. Texas builders, yep. Laminate flooring, tile flooring, those all be good ones for you. And you can do that competitor after competitor. Last thing I'll tell you about, John, is going to be citations. Citations are important because if someone types in flooring Austin TX and they're ready to buy, they're going to typically call the first company that pops up that seems trustworthy. You want to be that, co that company. Those are the easiest customers to close. So, uh, many people skip these ads because one, a ton of people have had bad experiences with them, so they just never click on them. There's also a large group of people who have ad blockers, so they never see them. And so where you want to rank is in the Google My Business or local map pack section. To get here, you need more citations than your competitors. Citations are wherever your name, phone number, and address are listed in different directories across the web. And directories are just websites that allow you to list your business's information, like Angie's List, Home Advisor, Yellow Pages, White Pages, um, Facebook. Yelp, Yelp, Yex, these are all really common ones. Great strategy here is to figure out what directories your competitors are in. Go list yourself in those same directories and add a ton more on top. I recommend about 30 to 40% to give you a nice space cushion. You'll only have to work maybe an hour or two per month to add a couple citations to continue to hold your number one spot and, take, and keep all those customers that Butler Floors is taking from you right now. That is all I've got for you, John. I hope you found this really informative. The three things I went over for you today were content. I would definitely recommend getting your website up to about 1,500 to 2,000 words. Backlinks, you're going to want to add a, add a minimum of 100 to 150 websites pointing at you. Make sure those in the flooring niche and just copy your competitors. And then citations, 
Uh, go figure out what directories your competitors are listed in. Go list yourself in those exact same directories and add a bunch more on top. John, if you want to do this yourself, like I mentioned, this is completely for education. There's no strings attached. All I ask as a courtesy is maybe you can send me a couple words back as a reply to this email to help me make these videos better in the future. If you want me to help you with this, check out our website. It's seodallastx.com. Our phone number is 214-441-6737. If you're on mobile looking at our website, click this link right here. It goes right to our phones. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, John. I hope you have a great day. Bye.